And the Golden Globe goes to the boy in the harem. So I recently just seen that the Golden Globe's Best Animated Picture was announced, the winner being the wonderful and amazing Studio Ghibli film, The Boy and the Heron. Now I have not yet seen this movie due to it being in limited cinemas, but I have heard wonderful things, my girlfriend said it was brilliant and that film is definitely a clear winner, especially when it comes to the other nominations. I have seen that a lot of lovers of Spider-Man are irritated by losing to it, but as much as Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse didn't win, it was really due to the fact that that's a big action Marvel animated movie, and as much as I love that film and I definitely cannot praise it enough, it's not going to be as thought-provoking as a Studio Ghibli picture, or even in Pixar's Elemental in my opinion. But the fact that a full 2D animated film has won the best animated picture is kind of amazing. The reason being that it shows to other big companies and Hollywood that 2D animation still matters. If you're a lover of animation like I am, be sure to smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Considering all the other nominees were 3D or a mix of 2D and 3D animation, The Boy and the Heron is definitely way more traditional and isn't as well known in the Western market, but it shows that animated films are not made just for kids, but is a wonderful form of media to tell stories. But for the purpose of this video, I really want to talk about those nominations, because as much as The Boy and the Heron definitely deserves to be there and definitely deserves to win, and Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, while I don't think that film was ever going to win the category, it definitely deserves to be nominated. The others, however, are very much questionable. Elemental, for my opinion, deserves to be there, as it was my favourite movie of 2023. Extremely underrated, but I don't think it could definitely win over the other two. Wish, however, doubtless of whether you like that movie or not, it is not award-winning material for anything in my opinion. Even if you like the animation or not, the story and characters are wasted and nowhere near as strong as all the other nominations when you think about the amazing character arc of Miles Morales or Ember's fiery character in Elemental. I find it sad that the only reason this film is nominated is because it's Disney, because you can't have an animated film nomination without Disney. Making the sides opposite, both of the acute angles, A and B, will always equal the sum of the squares of the other sides. Any questions? Same goes for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Now, I didn't have a chance to say this in my original review of this film because I saw this film on launch day. After the Super Mario Brothers movie came out, it was divided between critics and audiences. Audiences loved it, critics thought it was okay and fine, myself included. The argument was that it's a Super Mario Brothers movie. You don't really need to read much into it. You don't go into a Super Mario Brothers movie expecting the most thought-provoking and moving animated film. Just enjoy it for what it is. But with that, you've kind of made my point against it. A film that is just trying to be a simple story about a plumber who fights a giant turtle isn't going to be the most thought-provoking film. But that being said, no one thought the Lego movie was going to be more than just a Lego movie, and those films have a very deep and powerful themes about the IP it's based on and creativity. And even though I didn't think highly of Chicken Run 2 Dawn of the Nugget, it's way more interesting with its themes than Super Mario Brothers, and it's definitely way more entertaining than Wish. I was going to talk about Puss in Boots The Last Wish, as that film was amazing, even though it came out in 2023 in the UK, it had technically already been out in the rest of the world in December 2022, and it was nominated for Golden Globes in 2022, so there's kind of that. But with the boy in the heron winning the award, hopefully that sends a clear message to Hollywood to not forget that storytelling is the most important factor in any film. As with Disney's wish, they concentrated so hard on the animation and celebrating 100 years of Disney that they forgot to tell their own unique story. I feel like I'm crapping all over Disney and 3D animation, and that's just not what I'm trying to say here. If you have been following my channel for a while, you know that Pixar is my passion. They are my favorite company when it comes to animation. And so in no way is this way to make 3D animation feel like it's bad because it's obviously not. But if a film is 2D drawn and has limited screenings, wins the Golden Globe for Best Animated Picture, then I see it as a wonderful message to those bigger companies that audiences still believe that traditional animation is still just as good and still matters in this modern day and age. So thank you for joining me in this video. Let me know in the comment section what you would have won Best Animated Picture for you. I definitely know that there are some Spider-Man fans out there who are definitely feeling salty. I know exactly how you're feeling. Remember, you can follow me on all my social media platforms right here and be sure to like and subscribe for great content on all things animation. Hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next one.